Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to review this Artist Brushes set for watercolor, gouache, and inks from Famui. Famui sent me this box of synthetic squirrel brushes and I have opened them so you know this is not like a true unboxing but I have opened them and have been painting with them for a couple days to see how I like them. My first impressions are that I do like them so I'm gonna open them up and show you the ones that I've opened and show you the ones that I have not opened. I've got a little sketch here we're gonna paint and compare other brushes with it. So these are the two I've opened. It One is a number eight flat and the other one is a number eight round. My first impressions were they feel really good in the hand. They feel like they were made well. They have a good weight to them. They held a lot of water. They held a good point. I haven't had any shedding from the brushes. And, you know, the only thing I seen was this brush, this flat brush that I opened, had a couple little hairs, probably from where the cap was put on in manufacturing and packaging and I just snipped those away. There was no shedding and it has worked perfectly fine since then. So they come in their own plastic case and this was all sealed in plastic too. I really like this box. I'm going to keep this box because it's a great way to store the brushes. So you might want to put like a piece of foam so you can stick the brushes down in there so they won't slide back and forth because after you take the plastic off, the plastic end off, you really don't want to try to put it back on again to protect it from, you know, from the brushes from hitting the end. So what I like to do is just take a little piece of foam or something that you can stick the brushes down in so it will secure them in place. It'd be great if a company did that, wouldn't it? That way you could use their packaging and it'd be a whole lot less waste. So it comes with a number. I took out the num the two number two, the two number eight brushes, eight, eight number eight flat, number eight round. This is a number 14 round, which is nice. It holds a lot of water. This is a number 12 round. I typically use number 10s, but these brushes are going to work just fine. I'm going to keep them in my permanent collection. I really enjoy the weight of them. They really feel good in the hand. Nice point. They do have some sizing in them, so I will rinse them off. And then it has a number four round. I do have a number four Princeton, I think, that I can compare that to synthetic squirrel so I'll get that out a number 16 cat's tongue the people at Famui are really nice and kind very nice number 16 flat Okay, and I am seeing, let me rinse this off a little bit. And it looks like that kind of got there is a 
hair that's loose right there but I don't know if it's going to be a problem yet or not. It looks like it kind of got folded over in the manufacturing. You can't even see it. It's so minute. And a number zero round, which this would be an excellent detail brush. And we'll take those lids off. Okay, so I'll rinse these all in water and we'll come back and we will do this sketch of ornaments if you'd like to go along with me i just took a circle template and made three ornaments and some lines for branches i don't know if you can see that because i did use this karen dash sketcher pencil so my lines wouldn't be obvious after i painted so we'll be right back Okay, so I have all my Famui brushes rinsed off, and I have a variety of different similar brushes over here to compare them to. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the number zero round brushes. These are Synthetic Squirrel, and I'm going, going to just get some color down and see what kind of marks these make let me zoom in a little bit sorry about the camera shaking there okay this is the number zero round nice lines and it'll go from really really thin to a little thicker. It looks like it's got a lot of water a lot of water hold, holding a lot of water so I it's snapping back well so make that leaf shape let's do a couple coming to a really nice point and I was able to make almost two leaf shapes with one fill of this this is a tiny brush so let's see how it does again if I push down lift up push down lift up it doesn't have a lot of water hold, but this is a tiny brush. So, you know, that is for a purpose. Let's get some more pigment. And that makes a nice leaf shape. So if you wanted to do a little work, and detail work this is a perfect brush like it so far my gosh good impression now the feral it looks really good I'm not sure what it was made out of um, I watched another youtuber do a review and he said that the feral I'm, I'm not even going to say that because I'm not sure what the brushes are made out of. So I will link their website below and put a link to that so you can go look at that. This is a nice brush. It snapped right back into place. I don't have a size zero available, but let's do the size four. And let's do that one and we'll compare it still can get a nice thin line let's get that pigment a little darker so you can see it a little better still get a nice thin line It's 
got good water control. It's not dumping out. Sometimes when you get brushes, they either don't want to release their pigment or the water just pours out of it. This is letting it out in a controlled manner. It's not dripping down the brush. Gosh, look how far that's going. Holding a lot of pigment and water. Nice. Okay, it's starting to feel like it might be getting to its end. Can you believe that? Look at how long I was able to go before. Now I'm getting some dry brush. Or maybe I'm just running out of pigment. But that is nice. It's making nice lines. Check that out. That is amazing. And it's still going. It's getting some dry brush effects but it's still going that is amazing water control water holding the water and everything just with a number four all right so let's make some leaf shapes Nice point. I'm not going to wrench yet. I'm going to see if I can get another couple. I feel like I want to reload. Now that pigment's lighter. I'm running out of pigment. But I'm dumping more pigment too. Ah! Okay, there's, you know, that's kind of hard to, but it's releasing the pigment well, so that's nice. And I think I'm just about out of pigment and water. You know, you can feel it when you are and you need to reload, so very nice. All right, let's compare that to this. I do have a number four, number four, Princeton Neptune, and that's a synthetic squirrel. I'm interested to know because I can tell that the The Famui has more, has a larger belly and a longer brush. The brush bristles are longer. So I don't expect Princeton to perform as well, but we'll just see. Let's get some darker pigment. Let's get some more water, give it its best where I can't hold any more water in it. All right, now I'm going to, Princeton gives good lines. Wonder if I can get as much. with this Princeton. I'm doing it the same. I 
fine brush is starting to bend so I'm having to turn it to get the point and I don't know if you can see it or not but it is bending and not holding its shape as well as the Famui. I'm having to rotate the brush in my hand to now I'm getting some dry brush it's not doing bad but it does not have the spring as you can see if I do that to the Famui it springs back into place where the Princeton doesn't it's a but yet these are incredibly soft so the Famuis are soft. All right, now let's do some leaf shapes with the Princeton. And this is where that comes into play. It's dropping a lot more water down. Let's do a couple more where I think that maybe I would prefer the pigment not to dump out so quickly or the water. It's wanting to Okay, so let's do this Famui again. Let's get some more pigment. Get some good color payoff. All right, so I'm gonna do that. very comparable I like the spring back you can see it's a little it's starting to get a little bendy now very comparable okay so now I am just gonna go through this and talk about a couple of the different brushes that are available and the marks they make. I use flat brushes for washes. This is a number eight flash brush, flat brush. Let's get some pigment out there and get as much water as it'll hold. And I'm going to make a wash and maybe go like this and load this up. And then drag it down to do a wash. I got as much water as this brush would hold. 
it is a flat it's not a mop all right starting to run out of pigment but that's pretty good I didn't reload I could have reloaded that bead and kept it going for longer I got to the bottom of the page, but I ran out, so, and I didn't reload. Okay, so these are, this wash was done with a Famui number no. 8 flat. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that did a really nice wash. The other similar brushes I have are this Zen Royal and Lane, Royal and Lane Nickel half inch flat and number 12 Zen. You can see that the number 8 is very generous. So I'm going to take this number... 12 or number 14 and this is just from your big box store and I'm gonna I'm going to load this brush up get some pigment so we got a nice wash and I'm gonna load it with as much pigment as it will hold and I'm gonna go back and I'm going to do a similar wash with that and I am going to put a little bit more in there because I did with the other one and then I'm going to start bringing it down and once I have that loaded I'm not going to reload and I'm just going to bring it down and I can already tell you, this one's going to run out. This one is not going to hold the same amount of water and pigment. Oh, so that is, you know, and that, I don't even know if it's a synthetic squirrel or just black tackle on nylon no good no good so then I'm going to use this Zen half inch And see how much it can hold the bristles are a little bit shorter we're going to open that or load this line with as much as it can take and bring it down this is a different fiber 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 brush as well it's like a pseudo sable nylon and it's not going to hold as much either. So far, the Famui is the clear winner with the flat brushes I own. Now, granite. I don't use a flat brush very often, but when I do, see, now that's running out. So, clear winner, clear winner is the Famui with the brushes that I own. So, all right, so let's go on and see what kind of marks this these different brushes make 
and I'm using the sketchbook I'm using is Kilimanjaro 100% cotton rag so it's good paper okay so let's go and look at the marks this makes I'll go back in with this flat so we know it can do a wash we know it can make a straight line the width of the brush if I push the brush down we can get wider line I can also make a real nice marks I like doing those marks Let's see if I can do it on its side and make a leaf shape. That's nice. very nice all right variety of widths of lines oh, these are nice brushes all right let's try this tack cat's tongue because we're going to get the similar marks from the rounds only in bigger that was the Princeton this was the Famui we're going to get the similar shape marks in the rounds and I think even the largest round the number 14 I think you'll be able to get thin lines because it comes to a really nice point. Yes. And then you can. So you're going to get the similar. Very nice. Nice and soft, but good spring back. Now this cat's tongue. Let's get some with that. Now I know you could do a wash with this. But I wouldn't use it for that. Now another, another reviewer of these their cat's tongue was chiseled off at the end but mine comes to a direct point so he either had a uh, one that was damaged in manufacturing or they've improved it so this looks really nice nice leaf shape nice leaf shape it would be good for flowers I'm just layering it over here holds water it controls the water really well. You can pick up some darker pigment or some different color of pigment. And depending on your paper. I like these brushes. A lot. I like them because they're synthetic.
nice. So if I let that dry, I could go in with another layer. Mmm, this is a nice brush. Lots of good water in there. And I'm just not saying that because they sent me the brushes. I really think it's good. I'll use these as a part of my permanent collection. I really like them. And then, you know, you could come back and... Make your lines with the tip. No need to change brushes. I like them. Let's get some green, make some leaves. They, they come right back to a point. You know, I didn't have to form the point or anything. It just comes back. Nice. Very nice. I like it because it has a lot of water capabilities. It's just really, I think that it will be great. Grab some water, get it loaded up. I don't know if it holds as much as the, but maybe I'm not getting it loaded up. I was thinking it may not hold as much as a round. So, I'm wondering if this round would hold more. And it feels like it might. Let's just see. There is stray hair. One stray hair. I don't know if you've seen it. That came out. We'll see if any others come out. You know, it probably would work good for a wash brush if I loaded the line. So, if I came in, made a line, and loaded it up. I need to bring that down so you can see it. Load the line up to get that bead. Okay, now I'm going to start bringing it down. 
and see if it holds as much as that flat wash brush did. About the same. Looks nice. That's a nice brush to do a wash with. So I'm happy with it. Let me tug on these. brushes to see if I'm getting any other stray hairs. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's a couple. So, we'll see. Sometimes when it starts shedding, it will continue to shed. So, we'll see. Sometimes you can just get those out of there, and then it'll be fine. But I will only know that through time. Oh, there comes another one. This round brush is shedding. It is the large number 14. Let's see if I rinse it again. Yep, there. It is shedding. So, this Famui brush, number 14, is shedding. I'll keep using it. There's another one. Okay, let's try the number 12 and see if it does the same thing. I thought it might be a problem because I could see them This doesn't appear to be shedding the number 12. And I didn't see any problems with the number 14 or with the with the cat's tongue. Let's see if we go over here and load up. Get some more pigment and water. I always like to test a wash this way. And get as much as I can in that bead before it wants to break the surface and then just start breaking it bringing it down there's some hairs that are acting stray okay i don't expect this to go down further than the other one because it's not as large. Okay. Let's see if this one strays. No, nope, it's not shedding. Doesn't seem to be shedding at all. So it's just that bigger brush. Let's try the number eight. This is something they wanted in their email that they wanted to test was if the hairs would shed. Let's load this line up 
and this line won't come down as far either because It's a smaller brush. Let's try to bring that paint down. Yeah, that's as I expect. Let's see if this one sheds. So no, that one's not shedding either. It was just that larger brush. Just this number 14. Let's test this. And tug on these a little bit. No shedding. That's perfectly fine. Tug on this number zero. I don't expect it to shed. No shedding. It's number 12. I think we already tested it. No shedding. This cat's tongue. No shedding. And this number eight flat. No shedding whatsoever. This number eight round. I think we already tested that one as well. So the only problem with shedding came from this big number 14 brush. Now let's test it one more time. Let's see if it was just, it's still shedding. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that on the, it's still shedding its hairs. Yes, every time I tug on it. So that means I'll continue to have problems with this big brown brush. So, you know, I'll, I'll continue to use it until I can't use it anymore because it's still a nice brush. But that could be a problem because typically once it starts shedding, it'll just keep on shedding and keep on shedding until you can't use it anymore. So this is a brush collection that I will continue to use. I love them. Like I said, if you want to keep them in this box, that would be great, but you know, you would want to get something to secure them down at the bottom so the points of the brush didn't hit the top and that would ruin them. So I'll probably lay them flat. The best practice is to get a paper towel and lay them flat and at least for 24 hours and let them dry and then you can store them upright but you don't want to store them upright immediately until this these brush hairs dry because you don't want that water going down in the ferrule and ruining the glue that is in there. So that's it. I'm going to lay these out here to dry and then I'll store them. I'll keep these as part of my permanent collection. I really like these number eight, 12, and the cat's tongue, the number zero. I, I really enjoyed these brushes. So thank you to Famui for sending them to me to review and watch out for the sales. Enter code Denise for 20% off. I'll leave the website in the link below. 
And, you know, happy painting, everyone. Bye.